Hey, 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 y'all. What's going on? Welcome to my channel, T-Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get into a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Hi, Vi, Cross Watcher. What's happening? What up? How you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night whenever you see this video. I hope everybody is doing well, okay? Sending all y'all love, light, and healing energy. And yeah, keep in mind it's a general message. It will not, and I repeat, will not resonate with everybody. This is a gentle real message, okay? So take what fits, if it fits. If it doesn't, then that's cool. Thanks for joining and stopping and supporting. I love you as well, still. And leave the rest. Choir, come, 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 come. Uh, 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 um. One, two, three, oh, T Girl, T Girl, Magic and Collective. T Girl, T Girl, T Girl, Magic and Collective. T Girl, T Girl, Magic and Collective. Check us out and we'll see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Okay, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, ancestors, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love only. What's happening in my baby's energy? What's going on? What's going on in Gemini? High five. Cross watching, whoever's watching, energies. Okay, so yeah, there's some type of change and transformation, Gemini. Okay, a death, an ending of completion of something. Yeah, and this ending has gotten someone feeling a little battle-wounded, okay? The wounded warrior energy. I'm feeling like this person, it had to end because they refused to learn a lesson. Okay, so this person's being, oh, I'm also getting, hold on, let me see. Oh, okay, that's not you, baby. I feel that, um... Somebody's feeling, okay, something ended, okay? I don't know, you walked away from something or somebody walked away from somebody, okay? To a brand new beginning. And this is stressing to a brand new beginning. Let me show you, baby. I'm so sorry. See, the Wounded Warrior. Then we have the Eight of Cups. That's the walk away. So you either walked away from somebody that's wounded and worried or refusing to take responsibility. It's time. I feel like you needed a change in your life. You wanted to start fresh or you wanted to start all over and you are getting ready to get this brand new beginning. This is the Ace of Wands. This is a big deal. Number one, it starts with a big deal, with a transformation. You either leaving something behind um, or, yeah, because I don't feel like it's a physical death, okay? Um, you possibly left behind a fire sign or a Scorpio or a water sign or an air sign because they're going to have Gemini energy up here. Gemini, either you or somebody, this person's stressed out now. So if you walked away, whoever walked away, now somebody's stressed out about it, okay? Because they see you walked away into your new beginning, this Ace of Wands. Whose world is this? It's yours, okay? So you took some type of action. You had to leave this toxic energy behind, possibly. Tell me what caused this death, Holy Spirit. What caused this death? Some type of truth? You spoke something? That balance the situation out. About somebody collaborating with somebody and stabbing you in the back. Oh, you done spoke some truth, Gemini. And this is resonating and picking up from that last reading. Okay, the Ten of Cups, family. Somebody was trying to hold on to you. For it. And somebody actually, the last reading was some of your children and your baby daddy. They were plotting against you for a new beginning. Okay? Um... But you held back, Gemini, and this is why you get this brand new beginning of this Ace of Wands, okay? So we got one, two, three, four, five major arcana, six with the Emperor. So you're, this is your justice. 
by you leaving something behind, possibly a family situation that was trying to betray you. It wasn't easy for you to do. You had to go deep within. Somebody tried to sacrifice the temperance earth angel. Yes, they did. And somebody is in their head. Because I, in the last reading, honey, look, it didn't execute. It, the, the plans was not executed because you got away. You still did whatever. Okay. Um, this is somebody close to you, okay, of, of betrayal. Now, for some of them, they were trying to unalive you. And for others of you, they were trying to back. In that last reading, they were, um, so this might be picking up on that. They were trying to sacrifice you for a coin, for money. Okay, Spirit, tell us a little bit more about this death, the death, the ending. Yeah, you left. You left. You went within. You got some type of intuition, some type of intuitive download to leave behind. You need to leave in order for you to have a rebirth, a new beginning. Spirit said that's the truth. You can't bring toxic people with you. So whoever these energies are that are around you, that is in your family, that you are working with, they are very low vibrational. And where you're going, they can't go. Even though this is a Ten of Cups family and you would love to share whatever blessing with the family, but because of this backstabbing betrayal, God's not going to allow them to go with you. Even though you want them to go, God's like, hell no, period. And maybe God held that blessing back from you until you were able to balance out and see things for what they really were. High Priestess energy. Yeah, so God had... God was holding this blessing back from you, okay, so you can see, because you know how some people are in denial about, you know, their loved ones or their family situation, especially your children, because the last reading was about a child, and, they're, and they were an air sign child with fire in their chart, they were a fire sign child or a water sign child, cancer, whatever, but let me tell you who led the pack, this fucking Virgo, that's who led the pack, that's who led your child out into the battlefield to motherfucking try to go against you and then look your child is now the wounded warrior look the child is now the wounded warrior because you walked away baby and because you were able to sacrifice your child for your half for god pretty much okay be like leave them behind you get this brand new beginning and see that's fucked up because soon as they all they gotta do is write because this brand new beginning is around the corner and they know that because people know your blessings before you know them. And this person is in this energy right now, okay? Because you spoke some type of truth. You spoke some type of truth, honey. That, it, look, you, whatever words that you speak, you breathe life or death into them, period. Okay? You're walking karma, walking transformation. You ain't new to the game. Okay, so motherfuckers are trying to end your shit. You don't give a damn. You just keep it moving and you transmute that energy and you keep pushing through. Spirit say that's that's right. And you got a team behind you to keep you balanced and push you through. That's for real. You got a whole damn team. Okay? Yeah. And these people collaborated with more than three people to backstab and betray you as well. But their plans were... Ex now this hermit is... Child, this... This down low boudicky dick sucky hermit energy. Lord, oh, he honey. Mm, mm, mm. And now he's stuck. So tell me more about this hermit energy. So what had happened, spirit? So something he tried again or did they try or what's going on? Is this the aftermath of this? Yeah, he, he tried. He collaborated. So who was, the, who was the three of pentacles, Holy Spirit? And they are in regret that they ever collaborated. With anything, because they didn't get anything. God ended up giving them what they wanted to give you. What's this of? Uh, three of Pentacles, please. Yeah. God balanced out to death. They thought they were going to get this Ace of Cups if they laid you to rest. They came together to collaborate at Ace of Pentacles or Ace of Cups energy. To lay your ass to rest, but they needed to sacrifice you first in order to get this wish fulfillment. Child, honey, they done made a deal with the damn devil. And like I said in my last reading, I don't know who the fuck thinks they're going to fucking sacrifice and give up the fucking high priestess to the devil. Make it make sense, please. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I can't even. I can't. I can't. Okay, I just, I just cannot. I cannot. Like, it's so, make it make sense. How? Can someone tell me how? How? 
The people say it was working before, bitch, it ain't working now. Okay? <laughs> Why was it working before spirit? Because they were stepping into their spiritual awakening. They had to learn a lesson. You were going through a transformation. That's why maybe the, the magic was working before. Okay? But you, when you tempered yourself out and balanced out and walked away from low vibrational things that no longer serve you in your life to make you high in this elevation, you want to communicate with angels in the most high. They don't hang around low vibrational shit. So you had to up the ante. And this is why you are winning now. You weren't before because you were in balance. You were in devil energy. Okay? You were in this energy. Like attracts like energy. So therefore you were vibrating just as low as this low vibrational energy was. Child. Mm, and then now look at them. They were plotting and planning, baby, to hang you, to leave you stuck, or some type of way to sacrifice you for some type of money that they not gonna get. They, they still told they didn't even get any damn thing. So they started off in the Knight of Pentacles and they ended off in the Knight of Pentacles. Because they started off in death. Well, they, child, the ending is death. They they cannot, whatever they did, Archangel Michael is over it. You got the whole dang spiritual team over it. That's the truth. They working together to stop, put a stop to this madness. And he or, he or she is trying to figure out what went wrong. What happened? What happened? God happened. Look, what happened? I don't know. I thought I was going to make it. I thought we were going to. I thought I was going to. That's what your ass get for thinking. These are arrogant ass motherfuckers. Trying to do something to tend to keep leave, leave the baby mama stuck. Or the baby daddy stuck. However this is. Okay? Mm, and now they want to come back to you to make this offer. Look, look, look. They going to come back to you too. So I, I want to know what happened with the... um. What situation? Okay, so this is the energy of the hermit, because we picked up the energy of the child in the last reading. So this is the energy of the hermit of what they're going through, who they worked with, and what happened when they went over there because they thought they was gonna get something that they didn't get, honey. They were celebrating way too quick, way way too quick, and he's like, I thought he was sure he or she was sure because this person practices the dark arts too. They appear upright and holy and rule following and kind and nurturing this person does your baby daddy do they were waiting just for the right time to come and attack this beautiful queen of cups energy which is you but you got scorpio somewhere in your chart somewhere queen of cups is cancer passes or scorpio it's water okay this person's over emotional they're drowning in their emotions and this person can't believe some of them can't believe you a high priestess because you've seen it coming from a mile away and you held back from somebody and now they're reflecting back oh you knew the whole time because they were like well, we thought it was going to work but it didn't work we the wounded warrior now but gemini you knew the lie you see the lie yeah you see the devil coming yep and you knew they was trying to come and hang your ass or slow you down or something what else spirit i forgot what you saw here these are people from your past Okay, Gemini. It could be a Gemini from your past. I feel like this her, this Gemini. Now it could. Mm. You got a couple of people. This is three of Pentacles. It's two Geminis. It's two Geminis. Gemini high vibe. You're not involved in this. This is plotting against you or another air sign acting in Gemini form. Okay, coming back to you. In the Knight of Cups energy to offer you some type of proposal. Okay? They're undecided. What are they fucking undecided about? Yeah. About yeah, they want to offer you a give and take and come and travel to you or take this leap of faith or take this risk moving forward because that's the yeah, you the Empress. So there was another person involved. Tell me about the second, the third person. We know the baby daddy, the hermit. And then we got a, a, it was a princess of swords or a fire sign child. Or they have that in their chart. And then we have another energy coming out as well. Now tell me about the other third energy spirit. The death. It's somebody, who, okay, this is a damn fool. The third energy is Gemini energy air. They have, okay, so this could be, mmm.
Ooh, damn, Gina. Are they... I don't know what's going on, Spirit. Just say, say it. Okay, there's some type of coven nasty ass shit going on, Gemini. You're in the dark. I don't know what's going on. What's going on in the dark now is coming to the light, okay? You are some type of star. Somebody is like feeling wounded and worried that you're in the spotlight somewhere and you're walking away to get a new beginning and they were trying to stop you. You have some people from your past that you used to date, you used to be intimate with, you used to sleep with. These people are sleeping together. Okay, well, however that go. If they, the males, if they, the menses, your boyfriends, and I'm not saying all of them, but there is two men in particularly that you know, that you, they don't think you know them, but you know, and they're, they're on the down low. Okay, I gotta tell you that right now. They're on the down low. Keep it on the down low. And this hermit hired this Sagittarius or this air sign to be your handler that's what i'm getting unbeknownst to you because either you ghosted the hermit or you got away and they never got over you or something stupid like that child yeah so you got people oh lord then i seen the chariot so you got people going by i don't know are they driving by spirit you got somebody from your past child that you they are plotting they are plotting, and then now somebody, one of the past people want to come back in and offer you, like, they want to offer a marriage to you, like, they're solid now, okay? They, they possibly, you remember them possibly being in the Knight of Pentacles and being in this energy, but they're still in this energy, though, okay? I don't know how, like, what? This person is very impulsive and flighty, and they're still in this Page of Pentacles, but they want to try to move things to calmer waters, okay, with you. King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is coming up. And who the hell is it? Yeah, this King of Pentacles wants to invest in you. So it could be your baby daddy wants to reinvest in you. He ain't never got over you. He ain't never got over you. So that's why he hired whoever he hired to keep an eye on you. But whoever this person is, they love you too. And then one don't want... Child, this is too much. I can feel the energies in my solar plexus like chakra like, what? One of them wants you so bad, Gemini. And then the other one don't want you to go to them. The baby, okay, the air sign's doing magic to keep the earth sign away. And then the earth sign is doing magic to keep the air sign away. Does that make sense, you guys? I hope it do. I really do. And then none of the magic is working because you're still holding, because <laughs> you haven't, you're not moving. You're, you're, you're holding back from this, I almost said Virgo, because this looks like the Virgo to me too. Yeah, I'll see how it looks even though it's not. That's how it looks like the hermit with that one, right? So, both of them doing magic to call them back from you or you back from them. Yeah, they are. They're like, she's my wish fulfillment or he's my wish fulfillment. No, they're my wish fulfillment. You stay the fuck away. Oh, damn, cuz, wait. Hold on. Baby mama. Yeah, emperor. Baby, two of cups. He like, bitch, I swear. Ooh. Oh, no, honey. What the end result? They both think that you, they true love. And they are willing to fight each other for it and end them. <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy as fuck. Both of them crazy are imbalanced or something. Are they crazy imbalanced? What's going on, spirit? You know, you see. King of Wands. A child, I'm telling you, King of Wands, King of Swords are both delusional. What the fuck is this? And they're like, no, I'm going to get there first. No, I'm going to get there first. No, I'm going to get there first. Uh, I'm going to get there. I'm going to, you, you wait. I'm going to hang you. No, you wait. I'm going to hang you. No, I'm going to win. Damn it. No, I'm going to win. Damn it. No, you don't know any of this shit, Gemini High Vibe. You just sit here shining, 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 shining. Yeah, you don't even know. You don't even know. All that's going on in the background. Gemini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Gemini, somebody is imprisoned about it. Yeah, you. They. somebody's in their head about making... This Virgo is in their head about making this offer and communicating to you. They're in their head about it. What they gonna say? Because you the high priestess now. Remember, remember now, okay? What am I gonna say? I want to just offer all the love and everything, but... Child, and then he budicky too. Child, it's too much. Like, it's too much. And they were dating. So whoever they got watching you, they used to F-U-C-K each other. Okay? 
ill. I'm not lying. No, no. Whoever's Budiki, they gonna communicate with you. King of Cups. <laughs> and the King of Cups is not always Budiki, okay? But in this energy right here that I'm picking up right now, Budiki, okay? And they still, they torn still. Look, this is a tower like... Maybe, I don't know, maybe some communication was spoken, but they want to speak something. And it's going to be, a, I don't know, something's going to, mm, I heard something's going to be exposed. And it's going to cause you to go ahead and travel and move right along. Okay, I don't know what the fuck this is. Spirit, this is a lot right now. I was not expecting all of this. And honey, somebody is feeling some kind of way. Like, if I, Spirit, what is this for? Let me go grab the, um, what is this? Let me grab the other deck to clarify. What is the, um, hold on. The page of swords. Somebody could be studying you or you make them, okay. Somebody's having a rebirth, okay. Whoever this air sign is or Aries or Scorpio, whatever. They're having some type of rebirth. They're spying on you, studying you. They want to take a leap of faith. They're happy. Yeah, every time they see you, this is how you make people feel, Gemini, all warm and shit and solid. Okay, look, loving and caring and kind. This is how this person feels, but you are always this way. And then they feel some kind of way foolish that the fact that they backstabbed, they backstabbed, <laughs> they backstabbed or they, some type of betrayal and they held back from you. But you are so strong and you continue to move forward and then you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy and that's fucking amazing to this person. Fucking amazing! And look, I held back. I held back because of their insecurities. Because when I see the Nine of Wands here, this lets me know this person's always in their head. They're insecure. They have a, like, they don't believe in themselves. This person doesn't believe in themselves. They've been through a lot. They could have a little bit of mental problem or imbalances, okay? A hard childhood. When I watched, looked at this page of pentacles down here, this person's had a hard childhood, okay? And right now, they possibly are contemplating unaliving themselves because they see you in this energy and you are this person's wish fulfillment. And they blocked you. Maybe you guys were, I don't know, higher level of commitment, but I'm telling you, they are in their head about backstabbing and betraying you. But the thing is, the reason that they're in their head is because they, they would have been here. It would have been an equal give and take. Maybe this person's been hurt in their life. Not maybe, they have. It's why they are wounded and they just can't seem to get over the past for some of them. Or they're hiding their sexual spirit. He put it right in my face. They're hiding their sexuality. Because this person needs to live in their truth. But then they're, they're balanced, in imbal imbalanced because they have love for you. So they're like, well, I love collective whether they be a male or a female however this goes they have love for you so that confuses them because honestly i feel like they're in love with your your person too or something your person's controlling something from behind the scenes that's all i know when i say your person i'm talking about whoever this hermit father somebody you have family ties to or have children with this person is going around sleeping child they didn't they didn't hire somebody one of they you know they homeboys who they lay down with to watch you and then the homeboy fell in love with you and you don't even know child that's crazy look the homeboy is in their head because the homeboy fell in love and he could be a little childish at times lord have mercy Oh, Lord. And then so now this person's in regret. We got the hermit, the Virgo coming back out. What the fuck the Virgo? The Virgo holding on to, he holding on to too much pain and heartbreak, child. He need to balance out his life. Oh, child, he over you. Over you, child. And he want to unalive you, child. Because this man is crazy. Child, I cannot. What the fuck is this? I'm confused almost. I can't even wrap my mind around it. That's why I'm having a hard time trying to tap in more because what I'm being given, it's like, what the fuck? And yeah, that's what's going on, ladies. There's some man out here, you know, in these streets that, I mean, love you. He like everything, but he really loved you. And then he got a gay lover that he been, you know, he hired to watch you. They fell in love with you, and they both doing magic on you, holding each other back from, child, this is too, 
because the I don't know what you do. They say you do it for them. Whoever you are, you do it for them. And these motherfuckers want to win at all costs. So you got and Gemini, I feel like you don't want any of them. Hold on, let me pull some of this back. Spirit, I'm gonna ask the spirit. How's Gemini feel? Gemini, I already feel it already. Look, you feel like this. I don't. I'm gonna pull them anyway, but you feel like this. You like I'll be a damn fool. I know I'm running into fucking death. And that's especially about this hermit energy, this Virgo energy. That's how you feel. Yeah, so you just, you gonna hold back. You would hold back. You don't give a damn. You don't want to collaborate. Okay? Mm-mm. Damn. Because they were, this was the abusive person. Yeah, the very, the abusive person that was always fussing and fighting and hollering and everything. Going off, possibly putting their hands on you and everything. Mm-hmm. Um. And, didn't I tell you the baby daddy was trying to unalive you? Yeah, he trying to unalive you because you walked away. He like, where are you at? He mad. He likes control. This is a narcissistic energy. Okay, they really like control. And when you walked away, that's when they didn't have no control because you're untamable with that strength card. I'm unstoppable. You know that song? I forgot that song. Who was it? Uh, but that's you are. You are unstoppable. And when you walked away and gathered your strength and protected you and your child at that time, that's what kept this person stuck in the hangman mode. And they thought, honey, they thought they dick was going to be able to save Captain Save the Dick. Look, I got that big thing thing. I got that big D energy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. And like I said, your baby daddy's in the occult. So you got he got mad and baby started attacking you. So spirit, so tell us more. I'm, I'm sorry it took me so long. I just, I don't even know, y'all. I, I puffed, he puffed, and then I was, I don't know, it slowed me a little. No, it didn't, you know, I don't know. Maybe am I moving slow or maybe it's in my mind. <laughs> okay, yeah, they are so sad that you get this new beginning. Your baby daddy wondering who you having sex with, too. I just want to let you know. He want to know who you, who you giving up that poom poom or who you giving up that wand to. Bitch, tell him nothing yet. None of your business. It's my shit, right? Whoever you are, it's your shit. You give it to who you want. They give it to who the fuck they want to give it to. And especially who they giving it to, honey, you don't want it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, yeah, look at them. They like, honey, they come together. Come together. They, yeah, they spying. It's an air sign. Air sign spying. No, they sent the air sign to you. Specifically, Gemini energy. It could be. I'm here in Aquarius and Leap. No, they sent an Aquarius. Okay, for some of y'all, you could be a Libra or you could have that in your chart. But they sent this air sign to a Libra. And the air sign that they sent is a Gemini or they have Libra in their chart. Okay? Okay, Spirit, tell us, why are they, what is this Nine of Swords? Why he's so stressed or she's so stressed out because you're moving forward? Look, they're all... Uh, they, they, all this is all they're worried about. Who are you about to have seeds with, kids with, lay down with? Who's stroking it, making it feel good? Child, uh, why are they so worried about it? Spirit, why are they worried about my collective genitals? Because they need to just, like, what? What? They need. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Enlightened. Oh, oh, and then right after that is the Ten of Cups. Because. You got that lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. Okay, you got that sunshine, happiness. No, the sun didn't come out. But honey, when you have sex with this person, they go through some type of awakening. or something. <laughs> They go out of this world. I don't know if they get spiritual downloads or when you connect with them, honey, they go to God. They go to heaven. They have some type of spiritual child. I cannot make. Child, I'm telling you. And you, and they sometimes they cry. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. And this is why, Gemini. Damn, Gina. And they ain't never had that experience from anybody but you, whoever you are. But I feel, I heard you do that. I mean, that's just who you are. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who you with. You're the type of individual that when you meet people, you send them through transformations. Like, you make people feel like they're the only one, even though you're very sincere and at that time, or whatever the case may be, like, you're... You're just a genuine person. You show your true, authentic self from, from the gate. You understand? So everybody you meet, you just give your authentic, true self. You understand? And these people are wearing masks. They hid themselves from you. 
Okay, but they didn't know what they really had was a star with this light, okay? Oh, okay. Get a spirit, look at them. Mm-hmm. They, they, they are looking for the star. They had the star. They had everything that they wanted, but for some reason, I don't know, they just they let you go. They were afraid of themselves. They were afraid of the transformation. They were afraid to move forward, and now... They see you in a certain limelight and now it has brought their emotions back up because God is talking to this person. I know I heard you say, I don't give a fuck. It's still over. I get it, baby. But just let this person have an awakening so you can reject them in this. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay. You don't have to reject them if you don't want to, baby. I'm just saying, but forgive them for sure with this hierophant. Okay. But this person is going to come to you because they want to balance things out with you. They want to give you some type of justice. Okay, it's been heavy on their mind because they can't let you go. Okay, because like I said, this person, if they are the same sex, into the same sex, and you're the heterosexual one, there's something about you that they have not experienced before. Like they, they don't get whatever you give, that they don't get that nowhere. They don't get it. Nope, they don't get it. And they've been looking for it everywhere. Been around the world, nah, yeah, yeah. I can't find my baby. I don't know and I don't know why. Why she's going away. And I don't know where he can be, my baby. But I'm going to find him. Okay. Okay, and make this offer. They're going to search for you, honey. Look. Um, where is she at? Where are they at? Where are they doing? Exactly. Child, this person is crazy. But whoever this is, I think they just want to trap you. What are their intentions, Holy Spirit? Because I don't like these intentions. I mean, they seem like they, they're trying to mask them. Thank you, Spirit, because they're trying to confuse me. What's their intentions, Holy Spirit? What is this hermit's intentions? What are the hermit's intentions? King of Pentacles. This is, you want to heal. And, change, and get things to turn in their favor. But no, that's a trap, bitch. Yes, you better reject it. Hell yeah, Gemini. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't know if they money slow. Yeah, this hurry money slow because of whatever fucking energy works. If y'all been keeping up with these things, this is continue. Whoever this Virgo is, they, 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 no. No, fuck that. I, I don't like it. Because we got the five of wands, the damn devil, the sun, the five of pentacles, the moon, and the motherfucking judgment, and the nine of swords. Like, judgment's being called about this moon magic. That's why they homeless. That's why, I mean, I don't know if they're homeless. Their, their money is low. Okay, they did something with a child. And I'm saying, like, they did some magic with a child. I don't know if it was on their child or with your child to cause some type of conflict magic. I'm getting they're trying to doing conflict magic. And so now they got to pay the consequences of the actions that they took doing whatever they did. Okay. They want to come back to you to get the wheel turning because clearly they know you as that you. They know you the real fucking hermit. You the real magician. You the real emperor. You the real one. You just the one. Period. And so they, they know they, they pissed. Baby, they pissed. This person, you always remember them as angry. No matter what, they possibly were always angry, grumpy, you know. Now they knew more than you, always trying to school you. They could be an older gentleman. They could have gray hair, don't know, have no hair, whatever. But when they communicate, it might be a little sharp, too. You have to cut that shit short. You'd be like, uh-uh, hey, cuz, don't be coming up with me with that bullshit. Yeah, you better go back the fuck up and sit down some damn where. Yeah, you're going you gonna to put an ending to that, Gemini. You ain't having it. Yeah, because how does Gemini feel about this, Virgo? This baby daddy energy. Now, this could now this doesn't have to be a baby daddy. This could be another Virgo in your energy, okay? It doesn't have to be baby daddy. This Virgo could be a father figure, but y'all don't have to have kids together. But whoever, I'm picking up, okay, another Virgo. Because uh, the first baby daddy, you're going to be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because the other baby daddy was way too manipulative. And you was like, uh-uh, mm -mm, we're not having that. Then we got this Virgo. You, I don't know. Tell me more about this Virgo spirit. Uh, because they want to have sex with you. <laughs> I just see it right now. They want forward movement. They want victory and success. They feel like you're healing. They see you as good luck. Okay, they they want their chocolate and their friends. How they're going to collaborate. 
with you to make this offer because you make this Virgo fucking happy. Period. Period. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you make them happy and they want to move forward with you, baby. They could be traveling to your house or whatever the case may be, but they're sad that they traveled away from you and ended something and now they feel defeated because the more... Child, they want to travel to you so bad. This person could be traveling to your house, girl, you, who, or boy. Um, whoever this Virgo is, child, they don't have good common... I mean, I'm not going to say that. They have good common sense. They don't have all their pot, their slices of their pie. Okay? They want to work on a relationship with you, though. Okay? You opened up this person's heart chakra spirits, telling me. Okay? You did. This person was shut down, closed in. They could be su They could have suffered from depression. You know, I heard people were probably using them for what they had because they are the king of pentacles and energy. And then here you come around and show them some something new or a star. Or you brighten their heart or you balance them out or you did something. And now they're looking at you as a ten of cups, bitch. Or a niggy. Okay. Or was it ninja? <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. So they want to. Oh, my God. This Virgo has marriage on their mind, y'all. How do they how does this Virgo feel about my angel? Ooh, Gemini. Look. They feel like you they want to balance this out with you. They think you hot, passionate. They feel a lot of passion about you. Okay? They want to balance things out because you possibly have viewed this person as a hoe. So, I mean, how does Gemini feel about um this other Virgo? Oh, yeah, they this other Virgo wanna come and balance you out, boo. Okay, so what happened with, because you thought that maybe they came off too aggressive or something. How does Gemini feel about this other Virgo? These are two different Virgos, you guys, okay? Thank you, Jesus, because I don't, mm. well, how does this other Virgo feel? I mean, Gemini feel. Gemini, you, you that's the truth. For some of y'all, y'all thinking that you might want to, you might, this person makes you happy too, but it's their toxic ways. They too, they need to leave some things behind out in the cold, okay? And they're trying to possibly work on that. Yeah, because there's a lot of conflict. They're fighting something, though. They're trying to drop something, but Spirit say that's the truth. Mm hmm Because they want a family with you. They see you as a 10. And they got a lot of love for you. So they're trying. I mean, damn. So what is the... Uh, so Oh, damn. Okay, so this person's trying for you guys. Male or female. Okay, this Virgo is trying. They're trying to drop their bad habits. They're going through some type of spiritual awakening. Okay, this person is... Could be very wise, okay? What's going on with this Virgo, Holy Spirit? This Virgo is going through a uh, dark night of the soul, possibly, right now. And then they're thinking memories of the past, holding on to you, Gemini. Look, Gemini popping up and showing out, Gemini. Look at ya. Popping up and showing out. Okay, they're, they're, they're holding on to you. This person's looking at you. They've never met anybody like you, ever. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. And they could, you know, like I said, this other Virgo. Let me see if I see it. Hold on. Mm, let me pull up. Let me see before I say. Oh, yeah. This other Virgo, they could go. I mean, they could be booty too, but they like you. Okay, something about you. They want to come together and celebrate with you. Yeah, this Virgo is um, a playboy. Yeah, they came at you like they're a hoe. But now this person wants to take action. And they want to offer you some type of higher level of commitment. And they have been wounded, but they're willing to work on themselves. They have been working. I don't know. Um, they're working on themselves, baby. Okay? Because they have been wounded in the third party energy. But you sh coming up as the queen of... I'm sorry. You showing up as the queen of cups... This person wants to start, they want to make a solid offer and they want to come and speak some type of truth to you. Yeah, Empress. King of Swords, Empress, High Priestess, this is you. Or somebody wants to give you some type of clarity or they knew or they were afraid of you because they knew you was the High Priestess. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 you too fine and you psychic bitch. Or ninja, yeah, they like, this is my two of cups. So you have somebody that knows you're their two of cups. You're trying to clean up their toxic ways. You, my dear, were a catalyst to this person's awakening, okay? That's all you do is awaken motherfuckers. That's why everybody think that you were the one because you actually are 
the chosen one to spiritually awaken the babies, okay? So Gemini, that's been your reading. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.